Happy hour, banner bar. Let's get into it. As you can see, today is Boone's farm. Toby's very excited. <laughs> Me, I, I had to make sure I wore my beer is greater than wine shirt just to, you know, drive home. We actually didn't know. Just let them know. This was randomly drawn. It just happenstance. And first up is the strawberry daiquiri. Now, before we get started, have you had many of these? I've had the blue Hawaiian a long, long time ago. Um, but no, not very many. Okay. I feel like I've had them all. Okay. But those were not great nights in my life. The only one I super <laughs> I could remember. Imagine why. The same blue Hawaiian, right? Like that's <laughs> the only one that I. Yeah. I will say, looking at the backs of these bottles, um, I always thought these were way higher in calories than they are. Okay. It's like a full bottle of wine. Right. Most of them are right around 500 calories. Surprising. But what's just the... just so you know, the back of this one, the the blue Hawaiian. Says it's two servings per container, mm -hmm. and that's yeah, like five hundred. Yeah, so and they're probably going to range what right around four percent ABV. So let's get to cracking. First up is the strawberry daiquiri. It's a flavored citrus wine. As you pour yours, what's the best snack to have on hand while watching a movie? I feel like. This is just going to be Kool-Aid. I'm going to be too fucked up to do the show after we do this. Even if it is just 4%. Well, you poured your glass full. That's why. I'm over here trying to pour half a glass. See, I'm not used to doing little baby <clears throat> pours of anything. I drink to drink most of the time, you know? Yeah. So, drink till it's gone. That's what I liked about the beer festivals is they would actually, you know, they chose the amount. Yeah. And I could blame the pour if I needed to. It wasn't right. my fault. All right, strawberry daiquiri. It smells like strawberry. It smells like a hangover. It tastes like sugar water. Yeah, very watered down sugar water. Yeah, fucking aliens in human suits be coming in to drink this at any time. It uh, it lacks on the strawberry flavor. Um, it's there, but it's so mild, yeah. so far in the background. The carbonation is a little heavier than I would like for a wine. So I thought that aspect was pretty light, but yeah, I guess wine. Mm -hmm. It's carbonated for a wine. Um, um, um <laughs> we both did. it's. It's not horrible. Yeah. I could be nice and give it a five. Like I could, I could drink the whole damn thing. I just feel like it's so sugary I'd get sick. I think five's on point. I agree with that. Five. Yeah. There's 73 grams of sugar in the thing. So even though it's only 500 calories, it's it's up there in sugar. It. I'm trying to think of a, of a fruit drink that it compares to mm -hmm. um, like a Capri Sun or something, but I don't, I can't think of it. It's just so mild. Like in the daiquiri department, if you had a, a daiquiri that was like a genuine strawberry daiquiri and all the ice that had been blended with had melted mm -hmm. and it got really watered down, that's kind of what that would taste like. But somebody poured, you know, like a sugar syrup back into yeah. it. It's, it's different. Okay. So would you think it would be better if you took some real strawberries, crushed ice, and blended it into a frozen drink would be a lot better. Yeah. There we go. There's a recipe. Yeah, the sugar is completely on point. It's just the flavor is yeah. not there. Okay. So what's the best snack to have on hand while watching a movie? I went blank. I went totally fucking blank, dude. <laughs> well, the last movie I went to, I had a uh, bite-sized Snickers. Mm -hmm. and I thought that was a pretty good snack. I'm not a big popcorn fan. Okay. So, um, some sort of candy, Snickers, Bite Size, or m and or something like that would probably be mine. I like the way that popcorn lasts, you know, and I can't eat through it in a heartbeat or whatnot. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want plain popcorn. I want like the butter or caramel or something. But I mean, I, I'm just going to, I'm going to trigger some people and just say candy corn. Because I'm, I'm not going to eat it too fast, you know, just snack on it here and there throughout the film. I'm good. Give me some like Chex Mix with some candy corn and I'm good to go. Chex Mix I could see. That that would be okay. Or some Muddy Buddies or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So you you just want a bunch of Little Debbies during your movie. That's, that's what I'm taking away <laughs> here. Next up is Strawberry <laughs> Hill. It's my Aunt Jennifer's favorite. I don't remember shit about it because... Okay. Our nights together were just that good. <laughs> Intoxication factor through the roof. So what book do you remember loving as a child? Kind of smells like seltzer. Or strawberry. Water. Is it? Oh yeah, strawberry. Yo. This one looks very carbonated, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely presents more like a seltzer. Doesn't taste like one. Mm. I don't... It's got a bit of that soda water thing happening on the back end. Yeah. I think the... Um, Wow, I lost it. Never mind. I can't tell if I like this one better or not. It's... If you take a blush... It has more strawberry flavor to it. Does. It does. Like a blush wine or a rosé wine. Okay. But you mixed it with, like, chalked up Smarties. That's all. <laughs> like, that's essentially where you're at here. Shit's yeah. so sweet they don't even put the shit, the calorie information on the bottle. But the flavor's better. It feels more like a wine. I'm gonna go six on this one. They both feel more like wine coolers to me. It is better, but it's not great, so six as well. Definitely a headache in the morning. Um like After I got one right now. It. We've only been drinking this stuff for like five minutes. No. Yeah. I'm already there. So what book do you remember loving as a child? Uh, the Whipping Boy. The Whipping Boy. I also liked Pinballs a lot. I got really into Judy Bloom's uh, Fudge series. Okay. It tells of the fourth grade nothing, Super Fudge, all that stuff. Yeah. What about you? I don't know either one of those, but I'll probably say the Goosebumps. Goosebumps were great. The Goosebumps series. That shit was so good. And it was right about the time we were learning to read and whatnot that it was actually coming out. Yeah. <clears throat> what do kids read these days? That, if you know, tell us. Harry Potter? I don't know. Still? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Isn't that crazy to think about? It's been like um, 20 plus years mm -hmm. for Harry Potter. Yeah, that is true. Crazy. We have wives that are teachers and we don't even know what kids read nowadays. No. But they're in high school, so... Maybe that's why. Maybe they just don't. Everybody just plays video games now or watches YouTube. And that's yeah. it. That's kind of sad. Now for the big boy. Blue Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah. Blue Hawaiian. So coconut rum vibes, ocean water from Sonic. That's what I'm anticipating ocean here. Ocean water from Sonic. So if you wound up in more debt than you could pay in a lifetime, what would you do? Fucking coconut oil scent on top of this. Not in the best way. But yeah, my head definitely hurts smelling it. So Yeah. Oh my gosh. It tastes bad. It's um another Kool-Aid. <laughs> another <Okay. laughs> But I don't even know what's there. 
It's not distinct like the strawberry. I get coconut on top of coconut. And the actual coconut flavor, it's not just like coconut water or coconut oil. It's like a combination of all of that with some sugar. Maybe there's like blue raspberry or something okay. in there. I don't know. It's it's a cheap drunk, though. Yeah. It takes me back almost 20 years, and I still love it. <laughs> That's me. I think this one would probably be... It's, it's drinkable still, so it's probably still a five, kind of like the strawberry daiquiri. I'm going to give that one a seven. Wow. I would like to say eight, but that's the uh, the memory part of my yeah. brain, you know, okay. kicking. Okay. I, I think seriously... maybe mixed with a Sprite, it would be good. Yeah. Give that, like you said, that ocean water vibe. So it's just to too, it. too what, thick, too sugary? That would... I don't know. There's just not enough of something there. I used to buy like two bottles of this on, you know, Friday or Saturday night for parties. Yeah. That's where I was. Boone's Farm Blue Hawaii. Mmm. Yeah, if you like coconut, there's no going wrong here. Coconut and the, uh, like the sugary girly drinks, this is your jam. I will say it's less like a wine than these other two. This this is more like Kool-Aid, like yeah. super, super yeah. sugary Kool-Aid. Um, so if you wound up with, in more debt than you could pay in a lifetime, what would you do? My immediate reaction is just to say I'd file bankruptcy, right? Okay. But I think the, the question becomes... What other option would you have? Yeah, like maybe if you can't pay the debt or mm -hmm. something... Like, what would you do then? <clears throat> if you're forced to, say, give up on, you know, some of the, your hopes of furthering yourself or mm -hmm. whatnot, I'd rent something small and cheap in the mountains and just Highway. live out my life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You? I, I'll probably agree with the uh, bankruptcy filing. Because, I mean, what, what else can you do? Mm -hmm. It makes me think of a story I read um, I don't remember when, but family, mother, or husband and wife got a divorce. Mm -hmm. Husband had been real sick and um, on the verge of death, I guess. And they got a divorce so that his debt wouldn't transfer to her Okay. when he did pass on because of the way everything's structured. But yeah, I probably have to uh, file bankruptcy. Sad state of affairs. Yeah. Medical debt, by the way. <clears throat> Why does that exist? A question for another time. Yeah. <laughs> now, number four is the one you're looking forward to. I, I am. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the sangria. So this is a change of pace because these are all citrus wines. This one's a flavored grape wine. So Maybe the only one in the lineup. I don't know because I can't see the fronts of the bottles yet. So how do you think you would handle the Hot Ones Challenge? For those of you that don't know what the Hot Ones Challenge is, I think you're referring to the YouTube episode called The Hot Ones, where they have 10 wings, right, Tim? Mm -hmm. And um, they get a celebrity on. They eat a wing, ask a question. And as this person's mouth is on fire, they have to answer the question. Yeah, it's an interview while you're burning. Yeah. Uh, and it's supposed to just scale up in, in hotness, but I know from experience that the bomb is a concentrated sauce. The rest are just sauces. So while the last two are technically hotter, the bomb is what's going to... It, it hurts. It hurts. Because it's not actually made into a... It's the actual pepper chopped up. Yeah. It's not actually made into a sauce mixed with other things. Right. It's, to, it's the concentrated. down. So. All right. Sangria. Which is a mixture of different fruits, right? Like sometimes when they make sangrias, they, it's warm and I has think, fresh fruit cut up in it. Yeah. It may be types of fruits and some spices. Like smelling this. Okay. 
I initially just got sugar, like maybe wine and sh super l amount of sugar, but... I smell some... It's like cinnamon or... Yeah. There's some other stuff going on in there. Maybe orange peel. Well, um, kind of weak. Yeah, it's a, it's like a mild, maybe watered down Lombrusco, just slightly, with some spice notes to it. I see that. I think we're used to genuine homemade, hey, this has been passed down <laughs> yeah, in the family sangria. Yeah, this is yeah. pretty mild by way of comparison. But it's, for me, it's more drinkable than, than the last three, okay. to be honest. Um. It was more like wine. That's it has, a, yeah, has more. There's a great tannin bite to it. Got a more of a wine bitterness, like a like a red would have. But it's quite pink when you pour it, or purplish pink. Yeah. So you can tell it's not going to be a, a hardcore red wine. Mm. They've all gone down kind of smooth, though. They're not no sugary. Horrible. Sugary always goes down smooth. Yeah. It's the coming back up that sucks. <laughs> it's going to be a six for me. Um, I think I rated the Strawberry Hill as a six. And I think this is better than the Strawberry Hill. But I hate to give it a seven because I wouldn't say it was extremely great. But it, I'll, I'll give it a seven anyway because okay. it, it's the best one yet. By the way, something worth noting is they're very different, right? They this are. and this are very they different. Are. So it's like if, if I try an IPA and I give it an eight, mm -hmm. and then I try like a, a black beer or a wine and I give it an eight, completely different monsters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It just depends on, you have to gauge the, the range that you're in. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously the other things you're trying all play a role in how you factor, but. Yeah. You can expect that, like, something you like better might get the same rating at some point. That's just going to happen. Yeah. So how do you think you would handle the Hot Ones Challenge? I think I'd do okay. Mm hmm Given I've not had to do interview questions mm -hmm. while trying the sauces. Right. Um, I've, had, I've had to bomb on a number of occasions, and I've had their last dab on the last dab. That's what that's a number of occasions. I love the last dab. That's a good ass sauce. It's like mustard curry. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hot. You? I, I've had, I've shared some of those experiences with you. I think I would not handle it as well as you probably would. I'd probably get through about five and be done. My eyes would definitely be watering through. Probably about two or three. I mean, the milk and the juices <laughs> but, and all the yeah. stuff. But um, my palate just does not do well with... I, and I love spicy foods. Mm. But, man, you, you get some stuff that's out there and I, I just can't do it. So, probably right. not very well. What we may not be taking into account either is that you're building on previous heat mm -hmm. that entire time. Yeah. And once you hit the bomb... You're talking 30 minutes before that heat goes away. I'm telling you, it's a solid yeah. half an hour. Yeah. Um, and then you have to do those other sauces on top of it. Mm -hmm. That might not be, that might not be great. Yeah, it's it's gonna, it's never gonna go away. <laughs> Next, which by the way, the Paul Rudd Hot Ones video, let's plug that one. That's a very, very good one. Go yeah. watch that one if you're gonna No spoilers somewhere. for it, but it's great. Fuzzy Navel. <laughs> is next we're back to uh citrus wines which this looks like what it's a uh, orange and peach yeah a fuzzy navel a mixed drink is i think it so. is i think so typical models or plus size models you know i was reading this question uh when i printed this stuff out to cut up for the show the fact that I use the word typical bothers me. I wish I had come up with something else. Okay. I don't I don't know what, because typical is exactly what they are. Um, 
they're what you typically see in a magazine or mm -hmm. an advert or on the TV. It's just that I typical also has negative connotations to it that I don't appreciate. I don't I don't want to denigrate uh, you know people who are of normal size. Clearly, you're beautiful. Otherwise, you wouldn't be modeling. Fuzzy navel. It smells good. It smells peachy. Yeah, I get a little mm. bit of the orange too. I think it's a, uh, which is nice. It might be needed. Mm. Sometimes peach can be way too much. Past episode we talked about peach rings. Yeah. And I recently had some peach rings. Those things are <laughs> super duper flavorful. Like they I can't are. eat more than one before yeah. being sick of them. Very peachy. Again, looks very carbonated. But, wow. I ain't mad at that. That's... I kind of want to put it in ice. Like, I think of all the drinks I might want to mix with, like, a, a soda. Just a little bit of soda. Or maybe even some water and a bunch of fucking, like, Sonic ice. This mm -hmm. would be the one. Okay. Again, very... Very, very heavy on the sugar. It is. It's just... They're sweet. Sweet. I'm going to go seven on that one as well. If you don't like sugary drinks, definitely take those ratings with a grain of salt. So, for me, every drink has tasted different on yep. this. It, it's, they're sweet. Then you have some peach. Then you have a little bit of orange. Like it, every it it just changes. Or a little, little bit of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's good. It's a six. So a typical model or plus size models. Uh, plus size models, without a doubt. I love it. I feel like it's gotten worse as I've gotten older too. Like. Thin women are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. They are. But meat on the bone. I love it. I'd I probably say plus my, plus size. Um Yeah, what's your what's your reasoning, Toby? I mean sometimes that skin and bone is you see a skeleton walking by, it's kinda Oh, okay. <laughs> So the models you see in magazines are just way too skinny for you? Is that what the, yeah. the thought process is? Right? Yeah. I get it. Completely. And again, that's not to take away anything from people who make a living doing modeling. Uh, even, not even, but especially for thin models. Mm. I'm sure the way that you have to live to look that way is not easy. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of norms that we take for granted that uh, you can't. But yeah, I'm I'm looking at a model to, you know, encourage a response for I'm guessing what's normally to buy clothes or to buy a product or whatnot. So being physically attracted to the thing that's supposed to be making me physically attracted to the product is uh, that's helpful. Yeah, what am I talking about? Snow Creek Berry. Hey! So what do you think? The color here, I think, I bet it's going to be misleading. I bet it tastes more like blueberry. Probably so. Um, so the pictures, raspberries, blueberries, or blackberries, maybe. But we'll see. Oh, yeah. Blackberry and raspberry. So yes, this is citrus wine as well. So this was the only one that was actually grape wine. Yeah. So what's your favorite home you've lived in? Your favorite home you've lived in? Well, I'm just spilling it all over the table. That's all right. Just be wiping off. If you need to, you can use our handy dandy banter bar rag. <laughs> towel. It's a towel, not a rag. A banter bar. And just so y'all know, this contains 0% juice. So everything about it is fake. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Snow Creek Berry. Damn. Looks like a Moscato. Are you unsure? 
I was just reading the ingredients. It's got like a berry-ish bubblegum type smell to it. Very girly. Oh, yeah? Very girly drink. Are you calling me girly right no, now? No, no. I am girly. So I'm just sorry. saying that this is a... It's not bad. It's drinkable. If you've ever been to a place that lets you put uh, the different syrups and the sodas, mm -hmm. the difference between a normal soda and the one that has the syrup in it, like you can feel and taste the... You know, the the syrupiness, syrupiness of the syrup, 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 uh, yeah, it, I can kind of see it in the cup too, it like, the lacing, yeah, it, it's so sugary that it's like slowly tumbling, it's, yeah, that's it's what you're saying, thicker liquid, um, that is more what this is like, it's like the syrups that you get, yeah, from one of those machines, does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes good. It's fucking sugary to the nines, dude. Yeah. There's no distinct berry flavor there, though. It's just... I feel like raspberry comes through pretty good in this. It is just... It's just as sugary as this one. It is. So, like, there's it a is. definite... This one was sugary, mm -hmm. but there's so much, like, coconut oil vibe going on here that I didn't mind it. Okay. Um... This would still be at the bottom. This tastes really good, but god damn it's sugary. Airplane. I'll, I'll say a five. It's decent. It's not... It could, it could be better. I mean... I'm torn between a five and a six. I like the flavor. Okay. I don't like how sugary it is. It might just be because we've been drinking these for a while mm -hmm. now. I'm sure that it's probably what it is. Right. It's just too much right now. Yeah. Uh, the flavor is good, but I will go with a five just because it, I could not drink this. I couldn't drink the whole bottle. I'd have to mix it with something. Yeah. Absolutely have to. I think we're definitely on a sugar crash from here. Um. <laughs> Get some beer in me. So what's your favorite home you've lived in? Do you have an answer to this question? Probably the one I'm in now. Okay. I mean... I feel like you're doing something wrong in life if you don't say the house you're living in right now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... You know what I mean? Um, but my first apartment married was... It was... That was very fun. Um, yeah, it's because you lived with me. Are you talking about the one after that? The one after that. Oh, oh, cold <laughs> that boy. one was fun too, though. That wasn't that technically was... an apartment, I guess. It was a townhome. That, yeah. But we I've definitely had some bad I don't know, maybe not bad, but Yeah. Growing up, I think you, you probably had some bad some bad places. But I, I would probably say right now, the home I'm in right now. You lived on like a lake at one point growing up, right? Not Maybe. yeah, but Yes, but no. That that wouldn't be a home. Oh, okay. That, that would be a tent. Okay. <laughs> it's a place you live. I, don't know. I, I did live there. I did live there. Sometimes uh, a house is not a home, motherfucker, if you don't yeah, like being that, there. That's maybe. true. That's true. Uh, I figured there would be actually um, a wooden structure mm -hmm. or a built structure. Okay. That, that not, not, a, not built within you know, 30 count minutes. The fabric and the poles <laughs> aren't. Yeah. So. <laughs> But I don't really have an answer. I, I love where I live. I've tried to make it a point to love where I live. And the majority of that is the people you live with. And that's changed a lot mm -hmm. over the course of my life, which I appreciate. Whether it was living with my mom and my sisters and my grandmother. Um, you know, that was a trailer, but I loved it. I loved the neighborhood. Loved everything about it. My cousin Corey, his mother, my Aunt Sandra... My Aunt Jennifer lived there at one point as well. There were a lot of people that lived with us in specific places, and uh, I've always, I've always made it a point to enjoy where I am. There's only a few places that I really did not like living, and there's no real sense in talking about that. So, <laughs> yeah. But to answer this question, I've been rambling because I didn't know that I had an answer. My favorite, it's it was an apartment, so I don't know that it's a home. 
but I had a place by myself for a few months. It was a, what are those things called? A studio or like a... Yeah, there's a word for it though, where it's, it's like a one bedroom that's not actually a closed off Mm -hmm. bedroom. Can't think of what it's called. I thought they were called studios, but... It might be. But it had stairs up the side going up to this loft little bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I had a living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. It was all mine. It's the only time I've ever lived completely by myself. And I loved it. I loved that experience. Mm -hmm. That that's my favorite. Apparently I just need to be alone. Anyway. (laughs) Yeah. I think that's it. So what do you think the sangria was probably your your go to? The sangria was definitely more the most wine like. Mm Mm-hmm. Probably so. Probably the sangria was probably my favorite. So, Blue Hawaiian for me. All day, every day. <laughs> Still reigns supreme. I'm sorry to those of you in the family who are watching and don't get to try them all at once because I know you're jealous right now that you weren't on. Sorry. Anyway, let's keep the conversation going in the comments. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place for another round of the Banter Bar. Peace. I'll just leave you a little sip in case you want to go back. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time on the band bar.